Hey what's up? My name's is Ercy and welcome to my channel. For today's video I'm going to be talking about the books that I plan on reading for the month of February. I wanted to make this like a short and sweet video just talking about some of the books that I have on my radar. With that being said let's just start. The first books that I've been reading this month have been the first three volumes of My Hero Academia by Kohei Horikoshi um, and these are from Viz Media but you know there's the anime and then there's the books. So I'm doing both. <laughs> I'm watching the show and I'm reading the books. I'm ahead in the show so I already know what's going to happen but it's just fun to kind of go through the books anyways. I have volumes one, two, and three. So by the time I'm filming this, I'm up to three. <laughs> so technically I'm here and I've already read these two. This story follows our young friend, our young protagonist, his name is Izuku Midoriya and he is on a quest towards becoming the greatest hero of all time. They live in this other society where the majority of the people are born or endowed with these quirks or gifts or superpowers, right? The society is kind of evolving in order to accommodate that. Accommodate that. If you have the rise of people with these supernatural abilities, obviously there's going to be institutions set in place in order to combat crime and help the society adapt towards this new way of living. The point of this story is just that our young protagonist, Izuku, he was born without any quirks. He aspires towards becoming the greatest hero and he looks up to his mentor and he's the number one superhero. His name is All Might. They go on this quest towards acquiring superpowers. That's what he does in book one without giving so many spoilers um, if you don't already know. And then the rest of the series just kind of once he gets those powers, what happens? You know what I mean? Or his time in the Hero Academy and the friends that he makes and stuff. But anyways, these are really fun and I really like them. So I've already read both of these before and I reread them this month and this is my newest one and I'm slowly going through the series. My latest one is the third one. So yeah, that's My Hero Academia volumes one, two, and three by Kohei Horikoshi from Viz Media. Now the next few books, I don't have them in any particular order. It's just kind of how I got them stacked right here. I might read them, I might not read them, but it's sort of what I have on my radar and I'll explain to you why I want to read them in a moment. The next book is The Death of Vivek Oji by Quakey Amezi. And this I got from Book of the Month. It was one of my choices a few months ago. It kind of goes through the story about this young boy, I believe, and he winds up dead on his mother's, force, uh, on his mother's front door. And it kind of goes through the reasons why that happened or the events leading up to that. I know this is going to be a really hard book to read. I'm kind of mentally preparing myself to read this because I know it's going to be really tough but it's a shorter book so I'm hope to kind of get to it. I heard nothing but amazing things about this book. I've heard that this book is like prize worthy. I have high expectations and I'm pretty sure it's not going to disappoint. The Death of Vivek Oji by Akweki Amezi and this is from Riverhead Books. The next book I'm going to read, this is also a reread. I listened to the audiobook for this book. After listening to the audiobook, I acquired it in physical form and that's Ready Player One by Ernest Cline. And I want to read this because um, I also have the sequel. I probably won't get to it this month. I'll probably get to it next month. But um, I have the sequel for it and I want to read the sequel. And my husband already listened to the sequel and I really liked this book before. So I want to kind of read through it a little slower to really grasp all of the all the pop culture references that are mentioned throughout this book and if you don't know what this book is about we are in the future our protagonist his name is wade watts and he is on a quest along with the rest of the world towards acquiring the easter eggs in this virtual reality game that was created by by these two founders that were obsessed with 80s culture the owner of the game passed away he left like this quest in place throughout this virtual reality game where if they were to acquire the easter eggs all of the Easter eggs, they would be able to win ownership of said game, which is called the Oasis. That is what our protagonist is trying to do. Because the whole world is like immersed in this reality game, you can bet like it's this is a this is a treasure. Acquiring ownership of that game would make you a multi 
zillionaire pretty much you know what I mean so because people they work through the game they play the game for fun they go students go to school people go to school through that game um it's become this second reality that people have immersed themselves in I had a lot of fun listening to it so I just can't wait to read it so and I have the sequel and I want to get into the sequel but it's been a while since I read this one so I kind of want to just refresh and then get to the sequel. So that's Ready Player One by Ernest Cline from Crown Books. The next book I want to try to get to this month is The Final Empire by Brendan Sanderson. And I've read this before. And this specific copy or this specific edition is the UK edition of this book. And this is published by Dragonsteel Entertainment. And this is a beautiful, beautiful edition of this top of, of this book. I was really happy to get this because it's so pretty. But anyways, so this is another another book that's set way in the future, I believe, I don't know, or just like in this other universe, following this young girl as she learns to hone her abilities with the help of a mentor that comes along. The magic system that is in place in this book is that people kind of ingest different different kinds of metals and if they're able to burn said metals they're able to do certain abilities. The premise of this book is our protagonist, her name is Vin, she is trying to take down the empire. The empire way back in the day the chosen one fell to the darkness. The people of this land have been living in this period of darkness kind of like a, a dark age. Our protagonist is on a mission with her mentor to take down the final empire. So yeah, this is uh, The Final Empire by Brandon Sanderson. And I've already read this book and I really liked it. But while I was reading it, there was a lot of distractions in my life. While I enjoyed it, I felt like I didn't get what I wanted to get out of this. So I want to reread this and then move on to the sequel. The next book that I plan on picking up this month is James from My Father, A Story of Race and Inheritance by Barack Obama and this is from Three Rivers Press. This book is Barack Obama's journey with connecting with his father's side of the family or kind of using that to kind of form who he is or kind of learn about his family and stuff like that. I read this years ago and I remember enjoying this but I don't remember much from it. So I have his newest one, A Promised Land, and I'm really excited to read that but I want to re-familiarize myself with him as an author. I have this book and also The Audacity of Hope, so I want to read both of them before going into um, A Promised Land. Not that I have to, I just want to. Again, going back to my goal of reading everything that I own on my bookshelf, even if I've already read it. That's uh, Jeans for My Father, A Story of Race and Inheritance by Barack Obama. The last physical book that I plan on reading this month, y'all are gonna laugh, it's The Da Vinci Code by Dan Brown, and this is from Double Day Books. Last month, I read Angels and Demons, and that was the only book that I have read from this series specifically. I remember back in high school, when I was in high school was when this book came out, or like when the craze was coming out around this book. I remember looking into this book and realizing that's a sequel. Like, why is nobody talking about the first book? So I went and got the first book, enjoyed it, loved it, got this book, and then I never read it. <laughs> so it's been sitting on my bookshelf for like a decade, which is kind of crazy. But yeah, this follows Robert Langdon. He is a symbologist that works at Harvard University, and he is, I'm assuming, going to be cracking the Da Vinci Code. I don't know what's going to happen in this. I've never read the synopsis. All I know is that it follows Robert Langdon and it's written by Dan Brown. I loved Angels and Demons. I gave that book five out of five stars on Goodreads and that was such a good fun book. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping this is just as good because the hype is real when this came out and I actually haven't even seen the movies. I want to watch the movies and I've been holding off on watching those movies because I want to read the book but yo it's been like 10 years like I need to get my act together so, <laughs> so that's another reason why I want to read that book so I hope I like it because I love Tom Hanks as an actor as an actor and I've been wanting to watch those movies for years and I just haven't because I'm stubborn all right the last book I'm gonna mention is 
actually an audiobook selection and it is The Secret Lives of Church Ladies by Disha Filial. This is a short story collection following the the lives of black women uh, from, I believe from a specific church, I'm not sure, but it's a, it's a fiction book. Just a series of, of short stories. There's this idea of um, church women being, you know, very devout and holy and chaste and, and I think this collection kind of goes through like the love and fidelity the sexuality of these women i have heard nothing but amazing things about that book and i'm really excited to listen to it and if i really like it i'll probably add it to my shelf i already have it checked out from my library so it's already downloaded into my phone i just have to listen to it all right so if you stuck around those are all the books that i plan on listening to slash reading this month i hope you guys enjoyed this video please consider subscribing if you haven't and all of my social media links will be listed in the description box down below. I hope you guys have an amazing day and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye!